Hi, this is Lisa on Friday. Maybe we talk too much of iPhone today. Let's turn to iPad. iPad is great. We use it for work or for entertainment. But have you met such situations? iPad touch screen freeze. Screen response inaccurately. Screen lags or not working in some areas. It may cause the by iOS system issues, or your iPad is damaged by too low or too high temperature. It also can be a software problem. Don't worry, you can use these methods to fix your iPad. First, clean dirt on the screen with a clean cloth. Remove the case. And the protector. Second, you can also try to force restart your iPad. If your iPad has a home button, just press and hold it, and the power button until the app lock shows. For iPad without a home button, press the volume up and then the volume down button. At last. Press and hold the power button until the Apple Lock appears. Third, update iOS system on iPad. Maybe your iPad is outdated. Just go to Settings, General, Software Update to check for the update. Fourth. Turn on touch accommodations. You can follow this settings, accessibility, touch accommodations. If your iPad does not have enough space, this problem may happen. Just follow this to check settings, general storage. If you find there is no enough space, just delete something you don't need. Six. Use Chesky iOS System Recovery. This tool can fix many iOS system problems, so you can try to use this to fix your iPad. Now let's show you how to use it. First of all, you need to connect your iPad with the computer, then launch Transkit. Click this button to enter the recovery mode. Then click the start button. The standard mode can fix most common issues and will not cause data loss. The advanced mode is used to fix serious problems. For your problem, just use the standard mode. Now you should check the information here. Correct the wrong information. Click the download button to download the firmware package. Let's click the repair button to repair your iPad. Seventh, if your iPad can't work in some area, it's likely your screen has been damaged. You can go to a maintenance center for help. 
That's all I want to share you today about this iPad Touch screen not working issue. If you find it helpful, please subscribe to this channel. See you next Friday.